Welcome to this puzzle session. Here is the puzzle. So we have two n minus one rooks, which I will explain if you don't know what that means. So we have two two n minus one rooks placed on uh, this dimension chessboard. So each uh, you know the rows and there are these many rows and these many columns. And it is given that no rook threatens the other. So then what we want to do is we want to show that any n cross n square contains at least one rook. Okay. So here is the thing. What is a rook first of all? So rook in Indian parlance translates to elephant in chess and it looks like something like this. Sure we have all seen this in our childhood. And on, in a chessboard, rook moves horizontally and vertically. So if it is on this square, it can move vertically or it can move horizontally and it can capture in the same way. So it threatens the things which are in the same row or as the same column as itself. And if you don't follow this, then you can just Google what is rook and you'll understand anyway. So let's, uh, of course, I encourage you to pause the video and think about it and solve it and then try to only, only then look at the solution that I am going to present. So here is the thing. We have some basic observations first. So the first observation is that, which is immediate from the condition given in the question, that each column has at most one rook. Because if a column had two rooks, then they would threaten each other and it's given that no rook threatens, threatens the other. So this is obvious, but the crucial point is that since there are 2n minus 1 columns and 2n minus 1 elephants, or rather 2n minus 1 rooks, and each column can have at most one rook, it follows that each column has in fact exactly one rook. Because if there was there was one empty column, you will see that you will have at most 2n minus 2 rooks and that would be a contradiction to the, uh, you know, the, the question, because the total number of rooks is 2n minus 1. Okay, uh, and similarly, you f you see that each row has exactly one rook. So these two things we observe. And now we can solve the problem. And I will I will uh, to in in the in the interest of clarity and exposition, I will explain the proof only for a special case. And that special case is n equals five. So if n equals five, then two n minus one equals nine. And I have drawn a 9 cross 9 chessboard. Let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. So it's a 9 cross 9 chessboard. And again, just for simplicity, let me draw a 5 cross 5 square. So we, we are given that every n cross n square, uh, sorry, we want to prove that every n cross n square has at least one rook. So n equals 5. And let me just draw a 5 cross 5 square. Uh, arbitrarily and I will choose it in a convenient location just for the sake of clarity. So let me choose it here. So this is my... You'll see that it does not, really does not matter where you draw this uh, 5 cross uh, 5 thing. In fact, it doesn't even have to be like a contiguous these, these 5 things and these 5 things. They could be kind of scattered, but anyway. So I, I will show that this 5 cross 5 square has at least one rook inside. Okay, so how do we do that? Suppose not, suppose this is devoid of rooks, there are no rooks here. Okay, so now just focus on this part and forget everything about the left side, forget about that, that side for the moment, focus only on this side. Now it is, as we have the, as we observed, that this column has exactly one rook, so, so does this, so does this, and so on. So since we have assumed that there, there are no rooks here, there are no rooks here, and so on, there is exactly one rook here, there is exactly one rook here, and so on and so forth. So in total, this region has five rooks, because there are five such columns. This, this, this region has five rooks. All right, but there are only four rows in this region. So these four rows are accommodating five rooks. And therefore, if you want to invoke the principle, you could say by pigeonhole principle, there must be a row, in fact, there must be just this much of a row that should contain at least two rooks. So if you, I mean, 
it's you don't need to know anything about pigeonhole principle or any such thing but if you're interested you can just follow the video card that is flashing on the top right corner of the screen and it will take you to a nice primer on pigeonhole principle but all, all we are saying is that since there are a total of five rooks in this region and there are only four rows to accommodate them there is at least one row which has to make room for at least two rooks and if two rooks are in the same row we have a contradiction to the hypothesis and therefore there must be one rook in this in this region and it doesn't matter where you draw it you can just um, carry forward the same exact same reasoning and I encourage you to do it for the general n I solved it for five but you can easily generalize this to any n and that's it so that's a very nice puzzle I really like it uh, and as usual like comment share subscribe I also have patreon the link is in the description below thank you for listening and I'll see you next time